wearing combat armor. Yeah. No, I didn't. I wasn't wall hacking. What are you talking about? Oh shit, we're at the Red Rocket service station. I think we've been here before, haven't we? Oh no, we haven't been down this way at all, actually. Oh, it's auto saving for me. Maybe something big's about to happen. Class C and Class A coolant. Nice. <gasps> yes. Whoa. Double cap stash, too. Look at all these coffee cups. Holy crap. Wow, there's like 11 pre-war money in there. Fantastic. Holy shit. That's why you always got to check these old stores and stuff, right? Like the gas stations and, and whatever. Because they... Oh, you know what we should? We should go to Lexington after. Fuck, there's probably a ton of pre-war money there. Maybe we should do that. I mean, there's lots of super mutants, too. But who cares, right? We got the means. We got the firepower. We got the balls. Oh, I thought those were dead cows and reindeers. Somebody's been killing cows and reindeers out here, Long John. How does that make you feel? Oh, look, there's a bunch of jizz there, too. Ugh. Well, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, scrapping in Fallout 4 is that shit. The fuck is that? What is a fucking fog crawler? All right, let's not stick around to find out because it's glowing. It's probably another thing that's just going to one-shot me. Maybe I should go get my Vim power armor and mark this spot and come back to it. John, don't engage, okay? We're coming up to the power tool shed now. I'm going to do a quick recon of the area. You move in with the minigun and everything should be A-OK. -okay. Let me just get on top of here. I'm going to crouch down. I'm going to sneak right in. See if anybody's living in this old factory. I hear a sound. Oh, I can hear gunshots. I heard an explosion and I hear some gunshots in the background. John, what are you doing down there? Don't do that. All right, let's sneak in. Under the cover of darkness. Eagle's Cove Tannery. We made it. Oh shit, there's lots of ghouls here. Turns out there's a lot of ghouls here. There's a ghoul with no arm now. Shit, here they all come. They're on to me. What's a fog ghoul? Is this one of the ones that lives in the fog? Why do you need a lab ladle out in the fog? Oh shit, that thing's like kind of close again. We should be safe in here though, right? Ooh. Oh shit, here we go. There's gonna be a lot of pre-war money in here. Oh crap. Come on, Got baby. It. Not a single one. Muffled polished metal right arm. Marksman's powerful combat shot. <gasps> Whoa! Does this do more damage than El Pumpo? Fuck, I think it does. It's got a knife on the end of it, too. Ain't a lock, man. Damn. Let me just check this quick. Holy crap. I think it does, you know. Um, it does 105 damage. Sorry, no. El Pumpo still does more. It does 121. Keep you out. I was wrong about that completely. Sorry I ever doubted you, El Pumpo. How could I? How, how actually could I? You all right out there, John? <laughs> just like got his minigun. It's ready to go. All right, here we go. Eagle's Cove Tannery, the back way. This Maybe the power tools are just like right here. And I don't have to fuck around too much in here. It's going to be full of ghouls, right? Maybe not so much raiders. Gulpers. It's going to be full of gulpers. Ah, El Pumpo. El Pumpo's way better. 121 for El Pumpo. <clears throat> nice. All right, power tools. Present yourselves. If I do what Dima tells uh, me... Do for peace and get Kasumi out of Acadia, and then you can murder everyone. All right, okay. Do I want to save Kasumi though? Like, I don't know if I'm like that desperate to save her. Really, at this point, she's she's all right. Jesus, this guy alive? Oh shit, he is. 
It's a putrid glowing one. Oh, careful. Careful, John. He's putrid. Don't let him get near you. He's got weeping sores on the back of his back. Don't get near them. It's the final boss. Oh, we got the tannery key. He had a baseball on him, too. Rip. In peace. Until the end of... Oh, time? Come on. God, that was a stubborn melon. That was a really stubborn melon. Who else is down here? Is that one wearing a hat? No, it's not. <laughs> this one died in a loving embrace with a skeleton. Look. Jeez. God. These, what, what are these melons made of? There we go. Christ almighty. Alright. We're still like fighting, but I think the power tools are just down here. Perfect. So we snuck in the back way. We got him. Alright. All we gotta do is go give them to the Mariner now. It's a hide bundle. It's ours now. This guy has a pen on him. Oh. What's all this stuff? Yeah, it's all junk. I bet you these hide bundles weigh a fucking ton as well. Who's up here? Something else. I got I found them, John. They're right here. Jesus Christ. Is that one dead? No, he's down. Let's count the ammo and see what's left. I'm wondering if maybe we should have an explore through here though, because there might be a lot of pre-war money. Right? Because it's an old place filled with ghouls. There's probably a lot of like undisturbed um, like offices filled with pre-war money. We have to go find the executive suite. And of course, take everything along the way. Don't worry, I'm coming down, John. What's with all this hide? I guess you need it for um, crafting and stuff, right? I mean, it is a tannery, so it makes sense. Oh, is it just like, aha. <laughs> Found you, motherfuckers. Where's the money? Show yourselves! Oh, not like that. Jeez. Alright, John, you got him. Ah, oh, nice job. Alright, there's gotta be some money in this desk or this... Oh, here's some. It's not much, though. There's some rolled up leather here. Recon armor piercing automatic combat shotgun. Wow, that thing looks crazy. Okay, and we have a safe here that has 30 pre-war... That was worth it. It was totally worth it just for that pre-war money. 30 pre-war money. Excellent. Turns out nobody leaves money in their desk in this place. Hey, what? wait there. Given or taken? Whoops, I actually told him to wait there. I didn't mean to do that. I need to give you this other gun that I just got. This is a recon... Ah, it's not very good. Um, and then we've also got the combat shotgun, which wasn't very good either. All right. Hey, John. Make it quick, will you? Follow me. I hope he's following me. I don't. I, I don't want him to stay at all. Actually, I want him to come with me. He's following me. Okay. Great. Man, this place is small. Looks really big from outside. It's tiny. Maybe there's like another way up or something. Anyway. Let's go back out the way we came in, shall we? Nah. It's good. It's great. It's nice. That was good. We did two quests already. Now all we gotta do is go find Howard. Or whatever his name. There's more, you think? No, there can't be. It wasn't that big. There's some fat loots on the fog crawler. Has a special crab power fist. Fuck off. You serious? Whoa! Who the fuck is this guy? Excuse me. Hold up! I've been casing those ghouls for weeks, waiting for an opening. And you dive in and choppy chop, bang bang, and the whole lot of them dead. You even know what you got right there? A premium set of Pelman's power tools. Yeah. What's the big deal about these tools? Pelman's pumps out more foot pounds of torque. Death Claw and Psycho. And before Polly ran off, he kept those tools shiny. Nothing like them on this island. Period. Okay. With the shape of the world right now, tools like this are useful. Exactly. You got it. Wait. 
Oh, Marina sent you, didn't she? Goddamn Mitch and his big mouth. No matter what she's offering, it's nothing. Serious builders were given arm for them tools. I'll okay. Two thousand caps right here, right now. Deal? Oh, machete, Mike. Two thousand caps sounds like a really good deal, actually. Jeez. Tools in a condition like this, they're positively unique. Maybe I should auction them off someplace. Mm. Twenty-seven fifty. Say yes now before I change my mind. What do you Why need do you them need for? The tools so much. I got my own special projects. What's he and trying the caps to do? I'm paying? That's all you need to know. All right, fine. I'll pass on the offer. I ain't hanging around forever. Walk away from this, and you'll regret it. What? Get Mike. Get out of here. Regret it, my ass. Oh my god, look at how many caps he has. <laughs> oh shit! Good. Serrated machete. Oh my god. Okay, we have to hide the evidence. Heads up. Uh, Long. Longjaw? You didn't see shit. Don't tell Mitch. Whatever you do, we have to make it look like an accident. Alright, Machete Mike was doing some emergency maintenance on the conveyor belt when all of a sudden, gasp, the conveyor belt sucked his head in to the machine and... God, Mike, what's up with your knitting of his neck and his head is just... Like nothing I've ever seen before. I can't. All right, we're gonna have to operate, Longfellow. Clear some space. This melon is going off. One way or another. Oh god. Fucking ghoul's melon. Jesus Christ, Machete Mike. Machete's Mike's head does not want to come off his body. I wonder if it's because he's like a bit of a different model of like the rest of the people. Alright, you know what? Machete Mike. Can we not get any of Machete Mike's body? He's got some nice undies. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna have to do this old fashioned way. That's right, Machete Mike. Oh crap, that didn't work. And machete White. <laughs> machete White. Machete Mike actually has proper tidy whiteies. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay, what can we do instead then? Oh, here we go. This'll work. This'll work. All right. Machete Mike was trying to fix this conveyor belt, and then all of a sudden one... Oh, whoops. Hang on, we gotta make the scene of the crime look a little bit better, though. Oh, my God. What's happening to his head now? Just does not want to go anywhere. No. <laughs> Mike... Mike, why? <laughs> Mike, come on! Why can't we? Why can't we sever Machete Mike's head from his body? Oh, this is crazy! All right, I got a better idea. Machete Mike was doing some maintenance late one night in the factory, and then he fell from the rafters. Okay, and oh shit, no, he fell into this barrel, and that's it. That was the story of Machete Mike. Didn't quite like actually fall into the barrel though. Turns out that like it's pretty big and it's really tough to shove him into a barrel. Just gotta like change the view a bit. All right, there. We dunked his ass. <laughs> All right. Now, what we do is we shove him in there, and then, ready? Run, 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 run! You alright, Longjaw? Oh my god, Machete Mike is made of the tough stuff. Holy crap, he went sky high, but... Nothing. Come on, Mike. Get in there. Let's ram him in there as far as we can. Okay, he's really shoved in there now. Alright, Longjaw, just move out of the way a sec. Crap. We're gonna try to hide the body, Longjaw. This is totally going to work. Whoops. Oh, man. Machete Mike. Man, Machete Mike had a lot of money on him. That's crazy. 
was a crazy amount of money. I don't know why he was so keen to have those power tools. Like, what do you think he was trying to do? Do you think he was trying to maybe make, like, a, his own man cave or something? I'm gonna need another barrel. Oh, shit. Okay, here's another upright one. Alright, so the story is then, because we can't sever any of his body parts, Machete Mike was doing some maintenance on the tannery. We wasn't doing maintenance, he was trying to, like, find another way into the tannery to get the power tools. Um, Mitch's power tools. And he fell from the rafters and he really hurt himself quite bad when he fell down into this. He got sick and he was barfing into this bucket, this big drum, a lot. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a hide bundle fell and broke his neck. Shit. Broke his neck? Broke his neck. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Fucking machete, Mike. There you go. We hit him as best we could. <laughs> oh, God. What a mess. Anyway. Apparently, this thing had some loot on it. What the fuck? Fine. I don't know if we stand a chance against this thing, but you know what? I love loot. Eden Menno Cinema? What the hell? Oh, look. Oh, look at their eyes. They're all fucked up. We got company. Yeah, we sure do. You ready? What's he looking at? That one's erratic. Now it's dead. Oh shit, here it comes. That's right, Mike. I mean, John. I got Mike on my mind now. Man, can Mike become a follower? Hey, what's that? A love triangle. Is that a Yaguag? It's like a bear? Or is it more deer? Anyway, this thing was patrolling like up around here, wasn't it? There it is. Oh my god. What have I done? Do I really want to be doing this? It, it can take a real beating. Jesus. Yeah, you got it, Mike. Oh, oh, oof. Good job, John. Holy crap. You got it. Oh, beauty. Man, this thing didn't have fucking shit on it. <laughs> All of that effort. Kiddos at home for this next one. Nine of the Fishman's Revenge will have them shaking in their socks. Oh, I want to see some of these movies. Is it possible to see the Eden Meadows cinema? Where is it even? It's got to be down around here somewhere, right? Look at the, all these places, like... Many unexplored, uncharted places on the map. Man, that guy didn't have shit on him. Somebody told me he had a power fist on him. That's why I engaged. Why is there a beluga in this lake? How did he get there? Maybe the bombs sent him flying. Imagine that. Imagine you survived the falling of the bombs only to then... Oh my god. Okay, this is not going to end well. John, I need you. John, I might not need you, it turns out. John, don't worry. I don't need you. A duelist shish kebab. Whoa! 25% chance to disarm attackers on a successful block. Jeez, look at this thing. That looks fucking crazy. Nice. Alright, John. Never mind. Didn't need you at all, actually. 
pre-war money. Oh, here we go. It's gonna be some pre-war money in here for sure. These all these safes survived the bombs. But imagine you survived the bomb. And you were like, holy shit, I got eight pre-war money. Holy crap, I survived the bombs, I can't believe it. And then five seconds later, bleh, you just get smushed by like a beluga whale that's flying through the air because the bombs like tossed him out of the water. Just landed right on you and crushed you. What is this light? Jesus Christ. It's too bright. How do you turn it off? Why is it so bright? What a grim scene. I guess he like tried to hang himself on the light and it collapsed and he fell into his chair. Jeez. And now this light is just shining. It's not even any power or anything around here. It's just shining forever. Oh. Hey. What's that sign? That might be the cinema. Oh, shit. <laughs> that is! Oh, John! Man! Can you believe it? Wow. How did we find this place? I guess being close to the radio transmission was the giveaway. Eden Menno's Drive-In Cinema. Last stand at Fort McGee. And Night of the Fishman's Revenge. Shit, yeah. All right, I'm ready. Ah, oh, crap. We're gonna have to clear out some of the unwanted first, though. This place is a nest of shamblers. Yeah. And like that big screen. God knows what. We ain't alone. It's like zombies. Jesus Christ. Don't worry, John. It's worth it. Trust me. Shit. It's worth it. Man. As if El Pumpo is not incredible. Holy shit. Like, look at that. That was amazing. Alright, let's take some of this crap. Then we can go... Oh, John, where are you? John, I got a lot of junk I need to give you before we can watch movies together. Heads up. Been picking up too much stuff again. Take it all, John. Just take the whole lot of it. Jeez. Except for the pre war money. Don't take that. How much do we have? 164. Destroyed by an atom bomb. Fuck, we're back on top, it's baby. Almost too good. 164 pre war monies to add to the collection. And a bunch of other junk here, too, like pencils and shit like that. Alright, let's see if there's any more of these assholes lurking around here. It doesn't look like it. Stanley Van Robb. With Angela Lucio and Molly Ryder. The Fightin' Furies. Last stand at Fort McGee. Nice. Maybe I can get like a holotape of that. So I can watch it in my own room or something. Oh shit, it's locked up. Somebody actually remembered to lock up the cinema. That's it. As the bombs were falling, if you can believe that. Go watch for traps in places like this, right? Just in case. Some trip mines and stuff. Don't want to get a trip mine. Oh shit. Mentats. Oh nice. Kind of a newsboy cap. Shit. Yeah, it turns out I can actually get this on. Oh, what a view, though. I, I switched it off. It's too sad to leave it on. There's nobody here to even enjoy it. Whoa! There's another one. It's like a do. Like it's like a double. That's crazy. Holy shit! This must be Return of the Swamp Men. Oh yeah, look at that! Comes an abomination science cannot comprehend! He's big, he's bad! He's menacing Earth! With his weird webbed hands! He's attacking women in the shower! No! It's Swamp Boy out of the mist and slime! <laughs> Fucking love old ads and stuff like this. All right, let's switch this one. Whoa, manager's key, nice. 
Is there any pre-war money in here? Come on, please, 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 please. There's not, turns out. All right, let's switch this one off to you. Wait, it doesn't switch. It's off. There. Whoa! It's turned that one back on! <laughs> oh, the manager's key must get me into that little hut over there. This is pretty cool, actually. I like this. Is there any Nuka Cola left? Can I go through here? Oh, look! It's like a little restaurant. Oh, shit. Get out of here. 13 pre war money. Yes, please. Gumdrops and stuff? Not so much. Cakes. Oh, here it comes. No. No. I, why, sure no. you want to be out and about in the I dark, I want that nice cake. I wanted that nice cake. Down. Do, 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 do. More pre-war money. Excellent. And we've been up there. All right, let's go check out this little hut now that I've got, like, the manager's key, shall we? Yeah, poor El Pumpo is almost out of food, you're right. Need, we need some shells. Fuck, we need to get the factory up and running. Need to get some get some shells. Oh, this is just a bathroom. Hello? Oh my god. Holy shit. It wasn't e It wasn't even parts of it. It was the whole thing. A whole giddy up buttercup. That's crazy. What could be in the women's bathroom? Or was that the women's bathroom? Jet and buff out. Oh yeah, I forgot about my psycho buff. Why is there a wrench in this trash can? Anyone know? Oh yeah, you can go into these places too, right? Oh, look, there's like a shed back here. Oh man, this is pretty cool actually. Really enjoyed exploring all wood. Jesus Christ, John. Don't scare me like that. Just trying to like steal a bunch of stuff. Look, there's some nice makeshift batteries here. Those are always good. John, I don't think you can carry shit, can you? Alright. It is time for us to buff up and out with psycho buff. Bring it! Oh, John doesn't like when I do recreational drugs. Sorry, John. Somebody's gotta carry all this stuff. This alarm clock. Oh! Terminal only. Terminal only? Fine. Oh, that was an easy one. What does this say? Manager's note repairs. Power issues are causing an inability to have both projectors working at once. Please look into it as soon as possible and advise. Oh, I see. Ticket prices. As many of you have heard, we have decided to spike ticket prices an additional $10. Some may look at this as a sign that ticket sales numbers are decreasing. Quite the contrary. Sales have been higher than ever, and this is a perfect time to capitalize on the popularity of film. <laughs> what a fucking dingo. Holy crap. Upcoming releases. Invaders from Beyond Our Galaxy. Manziloid vs. Roborilla. The Murder Express. Animal magnetism into the hollow earth. Nice. There's no dino vision available on that one, apparently. Look, we could have taken these. They're like true. Oh. Damn fog's got in my lungs again. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I know, John. Mine too. My lungs are really suffering from the damn fog. Can't I can't shake it. Okay, there's nothing really up here. I guess that was the actual manager's hut. Well, we got the key. There's got to be something else. Maybe on this side? You can listen to the cool music a bit when we get over there, too. Bong. Bong. No, oh, there's like nothing over here. You should be able to hear it coming out of these things. Oh, man. Look at these two. They were just like having one of like a, a nice time in the car and then boom the bombs fell and actually they both survived but then a beluga whale came flying through the air and crushed them both to death that was the story of the time ah here we go here's the manager's room Sh shit it's the manager he was guarding all of his stuff 
freezing hardened sniper rifle. Whoa, does 10 points cryo damage and will freeze targets on critical hits. Oh, we have to take that. Yeah, that's, you're right about that, John. Anyway, I don't have much time before this buff out, psycho buff wears off, so we're gonna have to get back to at least the man cave. That was cool. We got a freezing sniper rifle that we can modify now. It's pretty sweet. Alright. Fine. Man, that was cool. I like that a lot. Fucking Eden Meadow Cinemas. Nice. Adam Spring, the nucleus is gone. Alright, let's go back to the man cave and drop off some junk. <laughs>